Hello everyone and welcome to the part four of the creating a web application in Python series. Today we're going to start talking to a database, but first we're going to set up a virtual environment. So you are going to need to download Debian because Debian is the operating system, the Linux distribution that we will use for this. So search, open up Google and search for Debian net install and you will use this one. Uh, you are going to download that one, uh, AMD64. Uh, so go ahead and do that. I have already done that. And you are also going to need to download VirtualBox. Uh, it's a free application. So go ahead and download that one. Once you have downloaded the image, the Debian file and VirtualBox, uh, we're gonna open up VirtualBox and we're gonna click on new and we're gonna select Linux and we're going to select Debian here somewhere. Uh, Debian 64 bit. And we're just gonna name this uh, uh, YouTube, right, and I'm just going to increase this slightly, uh, there we go, we hit create, and I'm just going to hit create, there we go, now I'm going to boot it up, and now I got to choose where the Debian ISO file is. I think it is inside of my downloads folder. There it is. Hit OK. And just hit start. And now we're just going to wait for it to boot. Uh, no, we're actually going to run the install, which is fun, I guess. Uh, we're just going to hit install. And then we're going to select, actually, let's move this one to the there we go. Now we can see a lot better. And I'm just going to hit English. And I'm going to select uh, United Kingdom base. I'm going to select United Kingdom. Um, British English. And now I'm just going to wait for this to install. I'm just going to name mine uh, YouTube. And I'm going to leave this blank domain name. And the password, I will set it to YouTube as well. YouTube. YouTube. I'm just going to type YouTube everywhere. There we go. And I'm going to hit guided use the entire disk. Hit OK. All files in one petition. Hit OK. And finish petitioning and write changes to disk. Hit OK. Write changes to disk. Yes. And then we'll wait for this to install the base system. So now we have to choose the archive mirror country. I'm actually going to use Sweden here because I'm actually in Sweden. And then we're going to click hit continue. Leave that blank. And it's going to do some uh, configuring again. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so now we're going to have to make some selections. Uh, do not press enter here. Use the space bar to select, uh, to uncheck and check checkboxes. We do not want the Debian desktop environment. So hit space bar on that one. We don't want a print server, hit space bar. 
hit spacebar on the SSH ser server because we want that. And that should be it and hit enter. So now it asks us if we want to install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. And you should hit yes on this one. And just hit the dev SDA or whatever it says on your, your installation and just hit that one. And now it's going to finish the installation. The installation is, is complete, so it's time to boot into a new system. Hit continue. Now it will reboot uh, the virtual machine. And it's kind of glitchy uh, on my system here. But don't mind, no, don't mind that right now. So I want to log in as root, root, and the password should be YouTube, and it is. Uh, what you want to do now is that you want to hit machine and settings, network, and you want to choose bridged adapter for this, this one, and hit OK. And now what you actually want to do is you want to hit file close and you want to uh, power off the machine because we're going to reboot it uh, there we go and i'm going to start it up again i'm going to move this one away again booting up the machine There we go. Now we want to get the IP of the machine. It's 192.168.186. So I'm going to do edit my host file. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type 192 168 68 what was it again I have a bad memory uh, 186 oh there we go and we're just gonna call this uh, youtube.dev let's ping it and see if it works and it works so what we want to do now is that we're going to SSH into it and install the database and some other stuff. Uh, YouTube.dev. SSH root at YouTube.dev. Yes. Write the password. We might not be able to log in. Uh, and I think that is because we need to go into this one again. There we go. Nano etc sshd shd config. And what you want to do here is that you want to look for permit login, root login. Permit root login. And you want to change that to yes. Save the file with control O. And I did use, um, uh, now what we want to do is system CT, system, system CTL restart SSH and SSHD. There we go. Now we can go and try and SSH again. There we go. We're in. So what we're going to start with is to install MongoDB. So run app get install MongoDB and just hit yes. There we go. It appears to be done. Type in MongoD to see if things are working and it usually isn't. So what you want to do uh, you can look for errors here and we see that 
by the way, the Mong God is uh, the way to start a server, the MongoDB server. We see an error here, and it says data DB does not exist. So let's create that one. MKDIR P data DB, and let's run it again, Mongo. And we see some other errors here. Um, where is it? Uh, I know what the problem is here, and it's that the data DB is not writable. So we're just going to do uh, chmod capital R 777 data DB. And then we're going to run again. But we see some errors again. So please make at least available in data DB urinal insufficient free space no urinal file present there we go it's doing something okay so the uh, MongoDB server actually seems to be up and running. Um, I don't know if there we go. Uh, all right, so it's actually a service now. Uh, so the service is actually up and running. If it isn't for you, then just do systemctl. Uh, start mongo db dot service and it should start and now you can type mongo to see that you're can actually connect to it all right so we got mongo db up and working now we're gonna uh, put our application on this server so to do that I'm gonna exit first and then I'm gonna see where my uh, the application is and we can see it here node app so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to compress this one just like that and now we should have a node app atar gc here and we're going to send this file to the server by running uh, scp note app dot tar dot gc root at youtube.dev and we're just going to place it in temp for now type the password and then I'm going to SSH in again and then we're going to go to CD var vvv uh, it doesn't actually exist yet uh, so we're not going to place it let's go to home and let's uh, go to YouTube and just uh, place it here. So MV TMP uh, note app, and we can create a folder called uh, app MV note app, and we're going to place it inside the app folder. And I'm going to cd app, extract the note app. There we go. Remove the tar file. CD note app. Now we have the code here. Now you want to do, you want to type app get install python virtual app. And remember, remember to do this on the server while you're SSH'd into it. There we go. And now we're going to remove the existing then that's here. And we're going to create a new one. Just copy this command. Virtual and p user bin python 2.7 dot slash vent. Then we're going to source it. And now we're going to try to run the application. And we don't have a flask. So just type pip install flask. There we go. It won't work 
the first time you run the main file. You need to edit it. You need to type ifconfig, get the IP of the server, and open the main.py file and paste the IP in there. And then you can run the Python file and it should be accessible from the outside uh, of the virtual machine. So you can access it in your browser. And we should still be able to create notes. Uh, and we can do that. Uh, yeah, it works. So now we have actually installed MongoDB and put the application on the virtual machine. In the next video, we will actually be talking to the MongoDB database um, from the Python code. So stay tuned.